Congratulations on choosing the Jadu TV system. Now that you have the latest in web streaming video technology, you'll want to get it set up as quickly as possible. In this short video, we will show you exactly how to connect and configure your Jadu box. First, let's review what you received in the box. You will find the Jadu box itself, a remote control with battery, and several cables. A power cable needed to power the Jadu box, an RCA cable which connects the Jadu box to your TV, and an Ethernet cable which connects the Jadu box to the internet. You may have bought the optional wireless USB device. This allows you to connect your Jadu box to your home wireless network. Using a wireless connection means you have more flexibility as to where to use your Jadu box. Let's install the remote control battery. Simply slide out the battery tray and place the battery into the holder. There is a plus sign on the holder to show you which way up the battery should be inserted. The remote that comes with the Jadu box looks very similar to other remote controls you might already own. However, there are a couple of differences that you should be aware of. When moving around the screen, you will use a directional pad. To confirm each selection, use the Select Play button. These buttons also act as Rewind and Fast Forward when viewing video content. The function buttons have a dual purpose depending on what you're doing. When in the menus or making a selection, the plus and minus buttons act as page up and page down. However, when viewing video content, these buttons will adjust the size of the image. If your Jadu screen looks small on your TV, you can use the plus button to increase the size by zooming in. The other buttons are self-explanatory and include the on-off, stop, mute, information, menu, and search functions. Now we're ready to start. The first cable we will connect is the RCA cable. The end with a single small jack is inserted into the Jadu box output labeled AV out. The other end with three RCA connectors should be connected to a free AV input on your TV, making sure you match up the colors. Check your TV instructions if you're unsure which inputs can be used. The connector with the yellow band is the video signal and should be plugged into the yellow socket. The other two connectors, red and white, are the right and left audio signals and should be plugged into the corresponding sockets on the TV. If your TV has an S-Video input, you can also use this. In this case, simply connect one end of an S-Video cable into the S-Video output of the Jadu box and the other end into the S-Video input of your TV. You will not use the yellow RCA connector in this case. Leave it disconnected. Using S-Video can result in a higher picture quality. Now let's connect the Jadu box to the internet. Here you have a choice. You can either use wired connection or a wireless connection if you purchase the optional wireless USB device. Before we look at each of these, let's take a look at your current system. You will either have a cable modem or a DSL modem. In order to connect your Jadu box, you will need a router either a wired router or more commonly these days a wireless router. In either case your router is connected to the modem in the same way. An Ethernet cable from the Ethernet out of the modem is plugged into the WAN or wide area network input on the router. If you're using a wired connection you need to connect one end of the Ethernet cable provided into a free LAN output on your router and the other end of the cable into the Ethernet socket on the Jadu box. Wireless network, then all you need do is simply plug the optional wireless USB device into one of the USB ports on the back of the Jadu box. The last step is to connect the power cable. With all the hardware connected, we can now configure the system.